let me show you how to easily clean up your electric cooktop. The first step is to disassemble the stovetop. Now, if you just pull gently on the coils, they'll pop out like so. That way you can easily access the drip pans. The hardest part with these stovetops is usually getting the drip pans nice and clean. So to speed up this process, what I'm gonna do is spray it with a little bit of oven cleaner, spray them all down real good, and then we're gonna put them in a garbage bag. Now the garbage bag seals it off so that the cleaner won't dry, so it can continue to work on the surface and break down all the grease and grime. Now we'll come back to these once we're done with the rest of the stovetop and get them nice and clean. If your cooktop's about a one to five on the mesometer, the cleaner I like to use is just Dawn Power Wash. This does a great job to break down the grease and grime. Now, if there is years of buildup and it's more of a five to 10, I'll usually go with some oven cleaner. This is just gonna be a little more heavy duty to really cut through the baked on years of grease and grime. For this one, we're gonna use some Dawn Power Wash. A hidden feature with these types of stovetops that honestly not many people know is that you can actually lift up the top and clean underneath. Now, the first time that you lift up your stovetop like this, it can be a little scary, maybe even intimidating, because you're going to find a lot of grease and grime, crumbs, and who knows what else hiding underneath. But if you've ever had maybe a burning smell when you turn your stovetop on, or kind of a stale old grease smell lingering in your kitchen, most likely it's caused by whatever's underneath here. For cleaning, the process is pretty simple. Just simply spray the cleaner down, and then I like to come through with a non-scratch scrub sponge. You guys know I love Scrub Daddy for this. Give it all a real good scrub, then come through with a two towel system, one damp to rinse the soap off of the surface, and then come through with a dry clean microfiber towel to buff and shine up the surface. If you have some grease and grime that's just not coming off like this here, what I like to use is a razor blade scraper. Now, something to always keep in mind with these is you wanna make sure the surface is lubricated before you start scraping, but this will easily remove it from the surface. Just like that, completely gone. Now, after doing this, if you do notice a few areas that need a little more attention, just repeat the process or try oven cleaner. A quick pro tip to keep in mind when you have the top lifted up like this, is you'll notice grease and grime loves to kind of get in this crack here and build up along the sides. So as long as you have it up, just grab your scrub daddy, give it a quick scrub, rinse, to completely remove that. When it comes to cleaning the actual coils themselves, there's a lot of conflicting things on the internet. Some people say to submerge them in water with some soapy water, others say to use oven cleaner. And to be honest, I really don't like any of those. The reason being is if you submerge them in water or use heavy duty chemicals, they can cause them to rust and permanently damage the coils themselves. And most manufacturers just recommend using a damp towel, give it a quick wipe down and dry with a clean towel. That's gonna be the best way to get them clean and make sure that you're not gonna cause damage. Now, sometimes they will get to the point where it's better just to replace rather than clean. If your coil has this little metal piece in the center here and you wanna really level up your clean, this is actually not connected to anything. Many times they'll just spin off like this. You can remove it. Now this you can clean obviously some oven cleaner or barkeeper's friend and get it nice and shiny and then that will make this entire coil look so much better. So now that the stove top and coils are clean, the last thing to do is clean the drip pans. So it looks really good, but you'll notice down here, there's just a little bit of baked on grease yet. So for that, I like to use grade 000040 steel wool. It's not gonna scratch the surface. Just give it a quick scrub, and it should get that taken care of in no time. If you're renting, a quick pro tip I always like to suggest is to replace your drip pans before you move out. I had a tenant tell me one time that the landlord charged them $50 per drip pan and then charged them to install them when you can get these at the store for like 20 bucks for the set. So there you have it. This cooktop cleaned up great and now you know the secrets to get yours nice and clean too. 
Thanks so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to the Clean Squad over on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to learn more about that, check the link down in the description. And as always, I'll see you on the next clean.